What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So we're in a horrible situation right now. So many people are in dire need of money, right? And that's why, you know, you create all these stimulus check videos. This is why a lot of people need information here because they need money. It's not about the fact that they love information. It's about the fact that they want as much information as possible to know when they're going to get their money. But with all of that being said, I wanted to talk about ways that you can make money really from home without having to leave your house in most cases. So I wanted to talk about this just so that, you know, you have some way of getting some sort of income and, you know, be able to create income for the future, because this is what you need to worry about. A lot of millionaires, actually, most of the millionaires that are out there have seven sources of income and you need to be able to have more sources of income rather than just having one. So. Before I get started, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So in order to enter that giveaway, you go over to my Instagram, DM me, let me know that you want to enter this giveaway and that you're subscribed to both of my YouTube channels, then you'll be entered. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So let's not waste any more time. I'm going to get right into it. So the first way that you can make money from sitting in your most comfortable chair at your house um, is by day trading stocks. This is something that I used to do more than I would create YouTube videos because that was something that I did before YouTube. Um, now I do YouTube videos because I'm I can make a lot more with less risk. So this is the issue there with with uh, day trading. You obviously have risk to where you can lose money, but you also have the ability to make a lot of money. So. The reason why I say this, and a lot of people say, oh, you can't make money from day trading. There are a ton of successful day traders out there. I've made over $30,000 from you know day trading um, in a year. So that's that's how that goes. I'm, I've never pushed to make anything more than that. It's always been somewhere around $30,000. That's what I really pushed for. So I was a person that pushed for $100 a day and nothing more than that. And the reason why I did that was just because I didn't want too much risk to where I, I push for $1,000 in a day and then I have, I'm in risk of losing $200 or $1,000. And that could be absolutely ridiculous to lose that much. So I've always been you know really conservative when it comes to the amount that I gain and my profit target. I never wanted to gain too much. But you can make extra money by doing it if you are disciplined. Now, I'm not saying go and throw your money into the stock market. You need to make sure that you know a strategy, that you have a strategy that's down packed, that you've practiced. Um, in simulators and all of that different types of stuff, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing because if you don't know what you're doing, you will not make money, you will lose money and that's something that you do not want to do. But it is a good way to make money if you actually know your strategy and you research how to read patterns and when to get out and how to be disciplined and all that stuff. So it's definitely a way to make money and um, it's something that I did in the past and I could tell you for a fact that you can make money from it if you know what you're doing. Um, the second way that you have here is actually to buy products, mark them up and sell those products. So well, I see a lot of people that buy, you know, maybe the uh, millennial um, monopoly game. It was priced at a certain point and then you would go out and buy it and you would sell it on Amazon or you would sell it on eBay and then you would make a profit out of it, $10 profit or so. There's a lot of things out there that you can do that with. Shoes is one big thing. So a lot of people will go and buy shoes and they'll buy like maybe three pairs of shoes and then know that those will be marked up in the next week or the next two weeks or even the next day and they'll be able to resell a pair that they got for $200 for $500. So you know they're making over 100% out of that out of that deal so this is something that you can do and a lot of people do do it um, so that's definitely a really interesting way to do it but these two methods number one and number two you need to have money to really start with now if you don't have money to start with the other areas are going to be something that you're going to want to look into the third one that I have on here is create a YouTube channel. This is what I did. I love talking about credit cards, personal finance, investing, all of that stuff. Um, any type of information that you really want to know, I love talking about it. And I just love sitting here talking to you guys um, about different topics. And um, if you love to do that, if you love to talk about something, if you like cars, there are people out there that have channels that are the most basic channels that you could possibly have and they're making money from it because they love to talk about those things. There's a person that has a channel specifically for Jeeps, just Jeeps and you know what he likes about them, repairs, all of that other stuff. I've seen this and it's interesting to me, not because I like Jeeps, just because he has a, a very uh, narrow 
um, target market when it comes to you know the amount of people that watch his videos or his viewers. So if you can create a channel with something that narrow, something that specific, then you can create a channel about anything. You just have to be uh, creative and understand how you're gonna create videos time and time again. If you're gonna create a YouTube channel, I suggest you get started now. So make sure you take the time and research what you're going to talk about and then talk about it. Put the camera on, don't wait for the best setup. It doesn't have to be as clear as mine. It doesn't have to be, you know, the audio doesn't have to be exactly as clear as mine. You just have to make sure you have a video for somebody to watch and then improve the quality and the sound over time. There are people out there that do not have anything. I started watching so many channels when they first started and then to see them now and their quality is absolutely ridiculous. It's amazing to see that growth. Even mine, you can see my quality from when I first started. It wasn't as good. The camera wasn't as good. The angles weren't as good. The lighting wasn't as good. You know, all that type of stuff. And now it's pretty good. I still don't think it's the best out there. I look at other people's channels and I get information on how I can make it better. But, you know, this is what you need to do. Take your time and um, you don't even need really any money to start with. Most people have a smartphone. You can set up the smartphone however you want. You can literally uh, prop it up on a soda can or whatever and just start talking. Um, that's all you need to do. And then you just hit upload. That's all you need to do. Then you start to invest in other things like, you know, computer softwares, um, maybe a camera, maybe a, a lavalier mic, maybe um, a mic like this. Maybe, you know, you can invest in so many different things in order to improve your setup and improve your quality of your videos. But that's once you start making money. So it does take a little bit of time to make money on YouTube. Um, the normal range for someone to get monetized is around six months, even to a year. So yes, it takes time, but it's definitely worth it. I could tell you that because in the beginning you may spend like a couple of um, hours making videos because you're just starting to get, you know, to understand exactly what you're going to do. And then you start to create scripts, you start to really get into it. And then you start, you know, taking maybe 10 hours a week, you know, 20 hours a week, whatever, creating videos, and then you're making money from it. So Definitely go ahead and start a YouTube channel. I highly recommend that. Um, the next area is Amazon Associates. You're going to see that I have a store down below to where you can click on any of my links. You can get wallets. You can get my YouTube setup equipment. You can get a lot of things that I have. And what will happen is I will get a kickback from anything that you buy. So if you click on that, I'll know that you know people clicked on it. And then if you buy it, I'll get a kickback from it depending on what product you actually get. So this is something that you can do and this is not something that I sell often, but if I did, I would make a lot more money from it. I could tell you that I probably make $100, $150 a month from this, but it's still $100 to $150 that you did not have. Um, and you may be spending a little bit of time um, promoting it and selling it, but you're also making money from the YouTube video and you're making money from the um, Amazon associates whenever they go and buy and click and stuff. So this is definitely a good option. If you have a platform, you could even do it on Facebook. You could do it, you know, on your own website. If you wanted to create your own website, you can do it on so many different areas, but Amazon associates is definitely a good source of income. So make sure you check that out and, you know, create something for yourself. It's all about creating those sources of income. And the last thing that I have is sort of online. The starting point is online to where you can gain traction and gain customers, but then you're really going to have to perform those services outside of being online. So the next thing is really sell your services. If you have, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean, sell your services as in like, um, if you want to mow lawns and you say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm around this area. Can I mow lawns for people? I charge $15 a week or $15 every time I mow it. And, you know, you can get a bunch of people that you mow lawns for on different days and set a schedule and you could do that. You could set up your own company by doing that. Now, these are services that you feel like you are amazing at. If you're good at mowing lawns, if you're good at shoveling snow, if you're good at, you know, electrical, whatever, then you can sell your services to people and say, hey, I'm, I'm good to do this. If you need my services, I can do it. Make sure you do it on something that's kind of a recurring thing, like mowing lawns. I mean, that has to happen pretty much every week. If I don't mow my lawn every week, it looks horrible, and I would actually pay someone to mow my lawn. But obviously, then I wouldn't get that exercise of mowing my lawn. So it's kind of, I, I kind of lose something there. But still, there are people that will pay to mow their lawn. 
and I have neighbors that do that and they have lawn services. They have uh, different companies that come in and mow their lawn for like $25 or $30. If you charge less than them, you can get more money from it, but you gain your clients online by, you know, posting on Facebook, by posting on, you know, Craigslist, by posting on certain areas and just saying, Hey, or just handing out flyers, say, Hey, you know, I mow lawns at this address. Um, or this phone number, call me and I will set up a time to where I can mow your lawn and you know, then you go from there. But that's pretty much it. I mean, making money from home is very important. Being able to make money outside your job is super important because you never know what could happen. You could be the most amazing employee. There have been tons of people that I've seen that have been the most amazing employees doing the best work and they get fired for no reason. And it sucks to have someone else control your fate. And I don't like that. I don't like when people control my fate to say, hey, you know, you you have to do this even though it's not part of your job description. And even though we're going to get like someone underneath you in order for you to train them so you can get some help, you're not going to get that person or, you know, something that's just going to drive you crazy. That's going to make you work more than 40 hours a week or more than 50 hours a week or however much you want to work. Um, it, it's insane to have other people decide your fate and behind closed doors, they can come to you and say, Hey, you know what? I don't want you to work here anymore. And then, you know, you're fired and that's horrible. Then you lose that source of income and now you're on unemployment. Now you don't have any money and you can't pay the normal bills that you can pay. You have to start cutting back on expenses just because you let, uh, another job, control your fate. You let a company, an owner of a company control your fate. Instead, you can say, you know what? I have five sources of income. That's okay. You know, thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Now I can move on. Like that is what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to say, you know, I make, you know, $10,000 a month on YouTube. I make $500 a month um, with Amazon Associates. I also mow people's lawns um, when I get a chance. Like you want to be able to say like, I have so many sources of income that it doesn't matter if you fire me. So with that being said, that's my video guys. Let me know if you like the list. If you want to add anything to the list, if you feel like you have a better way of making money online, like I said, there's a lot of ways to make money online. These are not the only ways. These are just some of the ways that I find, um, easy to me. So, um, Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. And all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is go over to my Instagram, DM me, let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and that you are subscribed to both YouTube channels. And you know, you'll get your tickets in the hat and we can go from there. Um, but you have to let me know every single week that you want to enter the giveaway. You don't have to let me know that you're subscribed to both YouTube channels. If you are already subscribed, if you say it one time in the message in the thread, then I'll be able to understand that. I'll go through it. But um, just let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and uh, I'll put your name in the hat. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.